Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and just to be on the safe side, hello, this is Lynn from the Learn English Network, on holiday, but recording anyway. It's easier than trying to catch up on two weeks, I decided. So I've left my visitors watching a DVD, and uh, they seem to be quite happy with a cup of coffee and a slice of cake. <laughs> it might be a bit bitty today, because I'll have to keep checking and making sure they're all right. Not that they're not fully capable of entertaining themselves for an hour whilst I chat to you guys. Um, well, 45 minutes, anyway. So let's see what's uh, been happening on the live chat page today, um, this week, I should say. Uh, we started off with Hoa Vietnam, who said, hi, everybody, capital H, capital H, and a nice full stop would be good, Hoa. Um, then Zeb replied, um, hi, Hoa. And Andy replied, hi, Hoa, how are you? <laughs> Sorry, Andy, but capital H. Capital H for Hoa, because it's their name. And then um, a new sentence, because it's uh, basically a question. So capital H for how, and R-A-R-E-Y-O-U. How are you? And a question mark would be nice. Uh, Hoa said to Zeb, nice to meet you. How are you today? And again, capital N, beginning of a sentence, full stop after you. And then a new sentence, because it's a question, capital H for how. Uh, but well done for the question mark. Yay, question marks, we love them. Uh, Zeb said, I'm fine, but actually I should be working instead of mucking around. Oh, Zeb, naughty girl. Uh, how about you? Are you also distracting yourself here? Think of it as um, recharging your batteries rather than being distracted. Bassett came along and said hello, and then hello everybody. Capital H, Bassett, and then again, full stop. Uh, I said, hi Bassett, you missed live chat a couple of hours earlier. Oh, a couple of hours earlier, and you would have nailed it. Bassett said, sorry, teacher, I was offline that time. Can we have chat now? So, can we have a chat now, or can we chat now? And um, for some reason, I didn't reply, but I have been away, and I have been busy, and I'm on holiday, so, you know, it's potluck at the moment. I'll reply now. And I just pressed a few little key. And a few keyboard clicks later, and I replied, sorry, I've been away quite a bit, maybe next week. And I can't promise next week either, because it looks like my visitors are here longer than I expected. <laughs> Oops. Um, Bassett also said, anybody there? So capital A and a question mark, because it's a question. Is there anybody there? Knock twice for yes, once for no. Uh, Hi, Bassett, said Zeb. I was, but I have now to return to some work that brings money home. <laughs> Bye. I know what you mean, Zeb. OK, what you'd say there, uh, I was, but I have to return to work. Um, or no, I have to go and do some work that brings money home. Bye. Uh, Andy came along and said, can anyone tell me the time for the live chat session? So again, capital C, beginning of your sentences, always a capital letter. Um, and Zeb replied, hi, Andy, it usually starts around at about 10.30 a.m. on Tuesdays. Lynn usually types live chat plus date to kick it off. The recording of a one week conversation conversation is then uploaded sometime during the same day yeah i like your sometime <laughs> and i'd make that two words sometime because it's not like sometimes sometimes i feel so sad uh, but it's sometime two words and he said hi thanks seb but is there any session for the night time around 10 p.m or so in the afternoon between 3 to 5 p.m as per indian time uh okay so Hi, capital H. Thanks, Seb. And then that's fine, what you asked. But around is just one R. Um, and Indian should be with a capital I. And when you're finishing a sentence, if it's a question, you finish it with a question mark. If it's a statement, you finish it with a full stop. If it's something surprising or um, something you want to really emphasise with an exclamation mark, but just the one. OK, so full stop and question mark. Too much. He just needed a question mark at the end. Um, and Zeb said, here's the calendar of all the events run by the LEO network. Have a look. There might be a session that fits your calendar. The voice session in Kitely on Thursdays, 7.30pm Germany time, might fit your constraints. And I wouldn't say Germany time, I'd say German time. OK, because that's the adjective. Germany is the country. Um, Amatsu came along and said, I'm around for half an hour if anyone wants to chat. And uh, Andy came and said, hi, Amat, how are you? So, hi, capital H, Amatsu, capital A, how are you, is a new sentence. So the full stop or a, co or a comma, sometimes when you're doing texts or writing letters, it's hi, so-and-so, comma, and then capital H, 
A-R-E-Y-O-U, question mark. Can you tell me your short name so we can chat? I'm not sure what a short name is. Uh, can C, capital C, U, Y-O-U, your short name? Can you tell me your short name? And then comma, so we can chat, and then question mark, because you're asking a question. Um, and I said, just use a Matsu, Andy, although I'm not sure how long she had to chat, she had to chat today. <laughs> Raz came along and said, um, actually, Raz, oh no, wasn't Raz, it was Ixia Itashi. And Ixia said, hello everyone, I'm Ixia, this is my first time here. I'm very happy to be part of a community like this. My goal is to exchange as much as I can with others in order to improve my English skills. Brilliant, Ixia, a couple of little bits for you. Um, so, after like this, you've got a full stop, then you need some space. OK, otherwise it makes it very difficult to read if you don't put spaces between your um, punctuation. So when you end a sentence, you don't need a space before the full stop, but after the full stop or the question mark or the exclamation mark, after a comma, after a, um, a hyphen, anything like that, unless it's a hyphenated word, leave a space or two. I'm old school. I leave two spaces quite often, but it doesn't really lend itself to computing because quite often that's shortened to one space. So nowadays one space is OK. And then um, I, capital I, and the rest of it looked pretty good to me. Um, well done. So Andy said, hi, Ixia. How are, how are, you? <laughs> I'm going to do that to you, Andy. <laughs> so capital H for hi, how are you, question mark. Welcome in this family. Okay, so welcome with a W because your, your sentence, how are you, that was a question and then you're making a statement. So it's two separate things. Okay, so welcome to the family or welcome in this family. That's fine. Surely you can exchange your ideas here. So, um, I, I know it's nice to say, sure, surely you can do that. It's a little bit, meh, <laughs> surely you can do that. It's more like, surely you can do your homework. It's more sort of, when we use surely, um, it's more, it's slightly negative. Okay, okay, so sure would be better. Sure, you can exchange your ideas here. Tell me the time when you are online, okay? So um, tell me when you're online. And your would be Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. OK, uh, tell me when is the time. OK, when is a word that's always associated with time. When will I see you again? When will I see you again? What time will I see you again? Yeah. So you don't need to say when and time together. Uh, Ixia said, hi, Andy. I think the best way is to use Skype. Skype with a capital S. It's the name of an organisation company. Thing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to participate in the Skype sessions. OK, I'm looking forward to participating in the Skype sessions. OK, that's one of the ones where you have to use the ing form. And Andy said, same here. If you get any, send me an invitation on Skype. OK, OK, same here. Capital S and then no space after the E in here, but a space after the full stop. And then if capital I who, Y-O-U for you, get any, then no space after the Y in any, just a comma, and then a space after the comma, send me an invitation on Skype, capital S, full stop, and then you can put OK, capital O, capital K, short form, or capital OK, A-Y, and then a question mark, because you're kind of saying, OK, OK, is that OK with you? And it would go in rising inflection, OK. <laughs> and I hope you guys have um, met up on Skype and chatted. It'd be cool, because that's what a lot of what the network is about, not just about chatting to me, it's about chatting to each other. Raz came along and said, um, oh no, hang on, I'm wrong, wrong, wrong. Raz came along and said, hello, I'm also looking for someone to chat and improve my English. Okay, capital H, hello. Um, you could put an exclamation mark, but just the one, and I wouldn't, I'd just put a full stop. I, capital I, am also looking for someone to chat with, yeah, and to improve my English, yeah, to chat. You can't ask other people to improve your English. <laughs> You've got to do it, OK? <laughs> and English, capital E, one full stop. No need for two stops or three or whatever. If you put three full stops, it's like you haven't finished speaking yet. Yeah? Du -du -du ellipsis. Um, Deepak came along and replied to Raz and said, Deepak here from Delhi, we can chat. Nice. I said, hi, Raz and Ixia. So nice not to just see hi. Big smiley. <laughs> we get so many hi, hi, 
Hi, hi, hi, hi, hello, hello, hi, hey, hi. <laughs> Gets a bit repetitive. <laughs> so well done, you guys. Uh, then Ixia said, hello at your teacher. You there? I'm looking forward to participate in the Skype sessions by Lynn. I have sent her my Skype and waiting for her response. OK. Um, hello, your teacher. Are you there? What? You there? It would be OK if you were on the telephone. But because you're writing, you'd put the full uh, with the verb to be. Are you there? Uh, I'm looking forward to participating in the Skype sessions run by Lynn and put an E on the end of Lynn. That's my name. Uh, I have sent her my Skype ID and I'm waiting for her response. And I replied, hi, Exia, good for you. It will be nice to chat with you. I'm Lynn, by the way. And I'm afraid I am away for the next uh, few days, but um, I will be back. You know, as long as I don't get run over by a bus, I will be back. And hopefully we'll be able to chat then. Raz came along um, and posted... All, all on his own, and said, Hi, everyone. I just get into this site and found it very interesting and meaningful to me because I want to improve my English skills. If anyone wants to chat with me, then let me know. So I just got into this site, or I just found this site, and I think it's very interesting. So it is very interesting and meaningful for me because I, capital I, want to improve my English capital E skills. Full stop. That's a statement. If anyone would like to chat with me, or if anyone wants to chat with me, comma, then let me know. Andy came along and said, hi Raz, how are you? How are you? Surely we all are to help each other through communication. You are absolutely right. Lynn did a great job for all us by creating this site. Thank you, your teacher. So, hi, capital H, Raz, capital R, how are you? A-R-E-Y-O-U. And a question mark, how are you? Yeah, question mark, it's a, it's a question. Um, and again, surely, surely you can stop using surely. <laughs> so you could say, sure, comma, we are, we are all here to help each other through communicating. OK, full stop. You're absolutely right. So Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, comma, Lynn has done a great job for all of us by create, in creating this site. And then capital T, thank you, your teacher. Uh, I back this up, said Zeb. Oh, no. In fact, I back up this. <laughs> now I've got this image of you walking backwards. Um, I'll back. I will back this up. I think you'd say there. As in, I agree. OK, but don't forget that Lynn is a proper noun. I also think that she is still doing a great job. Yes, I'm a capital. <laughs> so, yeah, capital L with Lynn. Well spotted, Seb. And he said, no, it's true. I have no doubt on Lynn's dedication and hard work for all this, but you still won't capitalise my name. <laughs> so, no, capital N, it's true. Full stop. I, capital I. One, it's first person pronoun. So it's always capitalised. Two, it's the beginning of a sentence, so it should be capitalised anyway. Uh, there's, I have no doubt about, not a no doubt on, you have a doubt about something. I have no doubt about Lynn's, capital L, dedication and hard work for all this. Yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> People think this isn't work and I do enjoy it, otherwise I wouldn't do it. But uh, yeah, sometimes it can be hard work, especially when you've got visitors. Chintz came along and, hi Chintz, I've seen you on several different things now. Well done you, you're exploring, good for you. Uh, hi, said Chintz, can someone help me to improve my English grammar? So capital E, uh, thank you. Uh, just one you at the end of you, OK? And full stop. OK, Zeb said, grammar and I are not good friends, but let's see if I can help. Now, have you noticed she doesn't like grammar, but somehow her grammar in her written English is really good. I wonder how that could be. Hmm. Look how many posts she writes. <laughs> have you spotted the books called Grammar in the Menu? And if you have questions, grammar is all, is well. Oh, Grammar also has got its own page. OK, here it is with the link. Uh, some people prefer the forum, though. Is it helping? So uh, Grammar also has its own page. Not has got its own page. It also has its own page. And you don't need to capitalise Grammar. It's uh, not a proper noun. OK. Um, and he said, hi, Chintz, how are you? So capital H, Chintz, because it's the name, capital C, full stop or comma would be fine. But then a capital H, how are a-R-E-Y-O-U, full stop. Tell me the time you want to come online, OK? So again, tell, capital T, 
um, either time you want to come online, full stop, and then you're, you're putting that OK at the end as a question. So capital O, capital K, question mark, or capital O, K, A, Y, question mark. OK. <laughs> Chintz said, hello, Andy, I'm great. How? Oh, actually, you said, Chintz, hello, Andy, I'm great. How about you? Tonight, it'll be online in 10. Hmm, guess what's missing there. So, hello, Andy, capital A, I'm great. Capital I apostrophe M because it's short for I am. Otherwise, you're saying im, and it's not a word. Um, then one full stop, then capital H, new sentence. So you need a space between the full stop and your next line, uh, and the question, I should say. Uh, so capital H, how about you? Question mark, well done. Then it's a new sentence, tonight, and then not ill, I'll. So capital I apostrophe LL, because it's short for I will, be online at 10. It's always at a time, yeah, at a particular hour, okay? Um, okay, said Andy, sure, I will be too. Uh, you should write, I will be online at 10 tonight instead of in 10. Hey, well done. But you should write I, capital I, okay? <laughs> but yes, quite right. And again, okay, capital O, capital K, or capital O, K, A, Y. And capital I, capital I, capital I. Does it mean that Chintz and you live in the same time zone, said Zeb, asked Zeb, in fact. Deepak came along and said, hi, everyone. Zeb said, hi, Deepak. And he said, um, I'm here to improve my English. Is there anybody who can help me? So I am here, capital I, am, so that's a space and then A-M, and then full stop after English, capital I for is, is there anybody who can help me, question mark. Okay, so you've got a sentence and a question mark. You separate them using punctuation. Hi, Deepak, said Zeb. For interactive chatting, I'm usually around early in the morning. My morning's in France. <laughs> And if you mean my morning is, you need an apostrophe. My morning is in France or uh, French morning, maybe. Uh, how are you? Said, hi, how are you? How? Oh, no, Andy. Hi, how are you? Said uh, Andy. So capital H, A-R-E-Y-O-U, question mark. Hi, how are you? Replied Zeb to Andy, correcting what he's writing. I have read your le message, said Andy. OK, let me listen to it. <laughs> So, capital I, full stop, after message, OK, capital O, capital K, or capital O, K, A, Y, let me listen to it, full stop, no space after it, and the full stop, OK? There's always a space after the full stop, but no space before it. What message do you want to listen to, asked Seb? Lol, you know, sometimes I feel that you yourself predict what others, others think, said Andy, capital I. I am talking about the audio recording, again, capital I, only one full stop, OK? This multiple full stops it's meaningless and it's a bad habit you don't want to do that in a test you'll get a mark deducted for every extra full stop all right not maybe for every single one but you'll certainly get red lines or crossing outs and things um the live chat recordings what do you think of them said seb it was good said andy all about the conversation we had on the day 6th of june it was longer than that, actually, Andy. Um, have you noticed Aladdin's recording too, asked Seb. Some of us are feeling brave enough to record a message using Spreaker. Aladdin, Aladdin and I did one. Will you join our voices? Andy said, doing great. How are you? <laughs> OK, so um, I'm not sure which, which ways those went. Uh, I think let's just see. Oh, yeah, uh, that was the reply to Zeb's how are you? This is where sometimes discuss goes a bit squirrely. And Andy replied to how are you? Doing great. How are you? And again, what's your capitalization? Doing, capital D, uh, no comma after, after the exclamation mark, and then a capital H, how are you? And well done for writing how are you? Are you? It was lovely rather than er uh, ooh. <laughs> How rue. Uh, I'm fine, said Zeb. I was talking about the World Cup with a friend, especially the Panini sticker book. Do you know what it is? Oh, we'll never know. Andy hasn't replied to that. I think the Panini sticker book is, well, I think it should be for young boys, but grown men are got caught in it. It's the hunter-gatherer instinct in people, I think, that they see this and then they want to gather everything. They want to collect it all. Uh, I don't get it myself. I handed my... I was given a load and I gave them to the next person in the queue... And she was so surprised. She'd obviously got kids. I haven't got kids. So I gave her them all, quite a handful of them. And she was like, oh, thank you. And I was like, yeah, whatever. They're just stickers, you know. Look how old I am. <laughs> I don't do stickers anymore unless they're stamps and then they get sent in the post. 
<laughs> Anyhow, Nirav came along and said, how to improve writing skills. OK, it's OK to write that. It's not very natural then. Um, how can I improve my writing skills? How can I improve my writing would be better? How to improve writing skills? Without even a hello, I'm here to learn how to improve my writing skills might have been better. I don't know. Anyway, Nirav, it's, it's OK. I understood. And so did Zeb. Zeb replied, hi, Nirav. Have you clicked on improve writing skills in the menu? Lynn has written quite a lot about it. Indeed, I have. Um, and he said, there are many ways. What kind of writing skills you want? For example, oh, no. What kind of writing skills you want? For example, who want to write down an essay, letter, or you want to improve grammar part. You see, you really want to write you, don't you, Andy? Uh, so, capital T, there are many ways. Full stop, one of them. What, capital W, kind of writing skills are you looking for? Or what kind of writing skills do you need? Question mark. For example, capital F, do you want to write an essay? You don't write down an essay. You can write down somebody's address. You can write down somebody's telephone number. Uh, you can write down um, dictation, yeah, but you write an essay. Um, a letter, or do you want to improve your grammar? And grammar is G R A M M A R, and then question mark. No grammar part. Yeah, it's grammar. That's it. Um, Zeb said, what's, what's your writing style, Andy? I think mine is descriptive writing, except that I always find it tough to write anything. Well, I'd have to disagree there, Zeb. I think once you find something you are interested in or enthusiastic about, you write very, very well. I think most writing tasks tend to be a bit um, boring. <laughs> so you see, the thing is to find your motivation. What do you like writing about? Uh, Andy came along and said, is anyone here to talk? Uh, capital I. I think I was in Berlin, Andy, and I tried my best to keep online a bit, but it was difficult because, you know, you've got friends and you've got Berlin, for goodness sake. I was in Berlin. Oh, it's so exciting. Ed came along. Hi, Ed, and said, can you comment without a Discuss account? Um, yes, you can, said Zeb, but then you have to wait for a mod to approve your comments. But how, said Ed? I mean, when I try to comment and I'm not logged in, I'm prompted to log in or create an account. Uh, Zeb said, you can log in using your G Plus or Facebook or Twitter account. In these cases, your messages will be moderated. Ah, said Ed, with a capital A, Ed. But that's still logging in or creating an account. I thought you meant UO could make comments anonymously uh, without having to provide your email or any other info. So, not UO, you, Y-O-U. I think that was just a typo, though, getting your fingers in a muddle. Um, true, said Zeb. Discuss checks your email address, but only when you create a Discuss account. Otherwise, you're kind of posting anonymously, which means ending up in a moderation queue, waiting for someone like me to approve your messages. I see, said Ed. So you're checking, my mes you're checking new messages now, aren't you? Yes, I am, said Zeb. I do it several times during the day, for which I'm eternally grateful, Zeb. Thank you. Doesn't it feel a bit like having a lot of emails, asked Ed. Sometimes, replied Zeb, but it's quite mechanical to just approve, discuss messages. I now have included this activity, this activity in my daily routine. How are you, Zeb? said Zoeb. <laughs> Straight in there. Great, I'm back home and winding down, said Zeb. I heard that it is hot weather in France. OK, all you need to say there, Zoeb, is I heard that it's hot in France. Because um, you're saying hot and it. We often use it for the weather. It's nice, it's raining. And as soon as you say that, you know I mean the weather. yeah? Because we're mentioning something to do with the weather. It's just one of those things that's been shortened down to an it. And uh, it works. <laughs> it is, said Zeb, but not the kind of warm weather I like. It's just hot temperatures and rain. No sun. Ooh, that sounds sticky and horrible, Zeb. It was beautiful in Berlin. Uh, Zoeb said, I listened in news that the weather is so is hot, so people went towards water and swimming pool to take bath for some relief. OK, I listened to the news or I heard in the news. OK, so I'd say here, I heard on the news. Actually, it would be on the news. I heard it through the grapevine. No, I heard on the news that the weather is so hot, people went um, towards water and swimming pools to, and you wouldn't say take a bath for some relief. You take a bath, it involves soap and sponges and face cloths and the like. And so um, to swim for some relief or to bathe for some relief not to bath bathe is different from bathing okay uh, zeb said was it about a specific part of france i haven't noticed anything special for paris that day 
Please tell me about the important places of France, said Zoe. <laughs> OK, so please, capital P, and France, just the capital F. The R isn't capitalised. Zeb said, to answer your question, I need to know what is an important place for you. For example, Paris is an important place because it's the biggest city of France, but maybe it's not what you want to know. I've heard too many times from different sources that Paris is wonderful city, said Zoeb. OK, I've heard many times, and two would be T-double-O, uh, otherwise you're just <laughs> saying you've heard twice, <laughs> two as in the, the number two. So I've heard many times from, comma, from different sources, comma, that Paris, capital P, is a wonderful city. I think the same, said Zeb. I love living in Paris. And I replied with two or two, Zoeb, and uh, with a link to one of the common mistakes you'll see that uh, two, 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 um, two different ways, three different ways of saying the same thing. All different spelling, but with the same pronunciation, which can drive you nuts, but just think of it as fun, OK? Otherwise, it will drive you insane. And he came along and said, why it takes too much time to get approval for every comment from Learn English? OK, why would be um, W-H-Y? Otherwise, I'm going to start saying E. <laughs> uh, so, why does it take so much time to get approval from every comment in Learn English? Full stop. Oh, actually, question mark, because you're starting it with a question word. Why? You need to end it with a question mark. Hi, Andy, said Zeb. It's because you don't have a Discuss account, and so your messages end up in the moderation queue, waiting for being approved. OK, waiting to be approved. Yeah. Um, get yourself a Discuss account, and they will appear straight away. No, said Andy. I have Discuss account. OK, no, capital N, comma, I, capital I, have a Discuss, and really Discuss should be a capital D because it's the name of the organisation, the company, the, the programme, and then full stop at the end. Really, said Zeb, you signed up to Discuss and, for example, didn't use your Google or Facebook account to log in and post messages. And Andy said, I post comment through Discuss. So I, capital I, post comments, because you're doing more than one, through Discuss, capital D, full stop. I have no doubt about it, said Zeb, but I think that you use your Facebook or Google or Twitter account to log in into Discuss. So I'd say to log in, space, to Discuss, OK? Uh, if you don't want your messages to be moderated, you would be better off creating a Discuss account and using it for logging in. Andy said, see, I have created Discuss account. Let me tell you more clearly, actually, when I post, when I post a comment, below the comment it is written, hold on, this is waiting to be approved by Learn English Free. OK. See, with a capital S. Um, in fact, I would say you see, Y-O-U-S-E-E. -E. I, capital I, have created a Discuss account, capital D, um, full stop. Let me tell you. So capital L. Let me tell you more clearly. Actually, with a double L at the end, otherwise it's actually, when I, capital I, post a comment, below the comment I can see, rather than it is written, that sounds a bit biblical, it is written that in the days of yore. <laughs> um, below the comment I can see, and then put it in quotes. Hold on, this is waiting to be approved by Learn English Free. But I have noticed, just after my post, you replied quickly, it means it is working, but the below comment is, the, is styled the same. OK, but I, capital I, have H-A-V-E noticed just J-U-S-T after my post, comma. You replied quickly, which means it is working, comma, but be, the below, mes, uh, below the comment, the message is still S-T-I-double-L, -L, the same, full stop. Well, said Zeb, if you created a Discuss account, your messages should appear straight away. I'll go now. Bye. No, it's again showing, said Andy. Ooh, irritating. So, oh, no, I write, I write it, -ing. I write it, I write it. -ing. Uh, so, no, capital N, comma, it's showing again. And I-T apostrophe S, otherwise it's the um, possessive. Full stop. Uh, <laughs> irritating. I double R I T A T I N G. You've got a double R for irritating. And then just the one full stop. OK. And then Andy said, OK, let's see if it works. So, OK, as said before, capital O, capital K or capital O K A Y, comma, let's. And that's short for let us. So L E T apostrophe S. See if it works. One full stop. 
No, it doesn't, Andy. Your discuss ID is still something like discuss XXXXX, which means that you're not identified as a discuss member. Andy then said, Andy, Zeb, OK, let's see if it works. Again, same as before. Hold on, this is waiting to approve, be approved by Learn English Free. This line I am talking about, or this, capital T, is the line I am talking about, capital I. OK, then Zeb very, very helpfully said, to create a Discuss account, go to the Discuss website and click on the grey button, Create an Account. Instead of the alternative options, using your Facebook or Twitter or G Plus account. Fingers crossed you'll work it out. Bye. Oh, we are discussing about disgust and it's disgusting. Leave it. Let it be the way it is. <laughs> OK, so O, capital O, H. We are discussing about disgust D, capital D, and it is disgusting. Full stop. Leave it, capital L. Let it be the way it is. OK. <laughs> That's very zen of you, Andy. Actually, I think that our conversation might help some people understand the reason why their messages are moderated. OK. When you say the reason why, you don't need to, because why is also always the reason, what reason. So, um, might help some people understand why their messages are moderated. Okay? Uh, yes, you are right, said Andy. Capital Y and full stop at the end. Okay. Then, um, Nirav came back and said, please help me to find mistakes in this article. Life is not a bed of roses. It's really intricate and shows different colour every time you try to find something out of it. Moreover, decision making is very important. You need to take right decision at right time. Otherwise, this pretty world, heck you. Um, so, I'm not going to carry on because Zeb replied, Hi Nirav, I, I've just read the first sentence and I've got some difficulties grasp, grasping the meaning, especially the last bit when you say this pretty world, heck you. I've always seen the word heck used as an interjection, like in what the heck? Never as a verb. What does it mean as a verb? What does this pretty world, hex you, mean? Agreed, said Nirav, that's a mistake. So what should I use instead of heck? So that's T-H-A-T apostrophe S, a mistake, comma, so what should I use instead of heck? That's fine. Maybe you could explain the idea you want to convey in order to find a word that fits, said Zeb. Can I use expunge? <laughs> Asked Nirav, question mark, I would put then. And then, well, comma, so capital W, I want to say the word will bow you down on your knees instead of this phrase, I want to use one word. Okay. Zeb then said, do you mean that if someone doesn't take the right decision at the right time, they will be eliminated from this world? They will, no, they will not longer exist? So I'd say they will no longer exist. Yeah, something like that, said Nirav. So not yeah, that's a bit sort of Sloan Ranger. Yes. Yes, comma, something like that, full stop. I think you should add an example taken from real life, comma, or your own experience, comma, to help the reader understand what you want to say, said Seb. Nirav replied, when somebody is in problem, people create more problem instead of helping him. So, uh, when somebody is in difficulty, comma, people create more problems instead of helping him. Try, I said, otherwise this pretty world will drag you down. And Nira said, thank you. Uh, now, the rest of what you said, um, let me correct that first bit. Life's not a bed of roses, full stop. It's really intricate and shows a different colour every time you find, try to find something out about it, full stop. Moreover, comma, decision making is very important. You need to make the right decision at the right time. Otherwise, this pretty world will drag you down. Most important is value and time in ancient saying. Hmm. Um, better to throw all of your fortune down a deep well than to squander one moment of time. OK, um, the most important thing is time, comma, according to an ancient saying. And then you'd say better to throw all of your fortune down a deep well than to squander one moment of time. T-H-A-N. Time doesn't wait, it's keep on moving. If you don't move with time, then life becomes insurmountable bridge for you. But we need to remain positive throughout our life, throughout our life. OK, so time doesn't wait, comma, it keeps on moving, comma. If you don't move with it, then life becomes an insurmountable bridge, full stop, or comma. But we need to remain positive throughout, one word, our life, full stop. 
we know this world is hard and cruel place to live if we if want to survive here we have to keep moving and most important never ever succumb okay don't throw in the towel so we know this world can be hard and cruel or can be a hard and cruel place to live comma if we want to survive here we have to keep moving comma and most importantly never ever succumb comma don't throw in the towel full stop Live gracefully with dignity and pride, no matter how many time you snowed under. But it's important every time you beamingly get up and ready for new challenges. So, live gracefully, comma, with dignity and pride, comma. No matter how many times you feel snowed under, comma, it's important that you get up ready for new challenges, full stop. Don't shrivel, always ever be fighter, never be quitter. So, don't shrivel away, comma, always be a fighter, never a quitter. Okay, I hope that helps you, Nirav, full stop at the end. And try writing it out. Yeah, you can replay it, write out my corrections and see what you come up with. Write it out in the forum, in the Discuss account again as a new post and I'll see, I'll have a look at it next time. I know what you were trying to say and it's very interesting. So, I, and I agree to a point. But this world isn't a hard and cruel place. It's only as hard and cruel as we make it for each other. We can make it such a wonderful place if we help each other, really. (laughs) So don't just worry about your own burdens. Look at other people's burdens and see if you can help them with them. So Leo Fox came along and said, oh, sorry about that. That's so preachy, isn't it? Leo Fox came along and said, could someone tell me how to join the Skypes class? I've already joined the teacher and I want to know where I can get a schedule of class and how to join the class. Thank you so much. So could capital C. Could someone tell me how to join the Skype classes? And there are no classes, by the way. Call them sessions. There's no point to have a class because people come and go too much. So they're always standalone sessions. Um, And then a a question mark. I've already joined the teacher and I want to know. So I'd say there, I've already joined the teacher, comma, but I want to know where I can get the schedule of sessions and how to join them. And then that's a full stop there. Thank you so much. Very good. Hi, Leo Fox, said Zeb. The calendar must be what you're looking for. Blah, blah, blah. There's the link there. As for getting to know how to access a Skype session. Thank you, Zeb. Click on chat Skype in the menu. Leo Fox said, yeah, I get the schedule and I sent message to Lynn what I would join a class at 8 a.m. But she didn't message back to me and didn't join me. So I don't know how I can join that class. OK, so yeah capital Y, I got the schedule, so after the comma, a space, then I got the schedule, comma, and I sent a message to Lynn, full stop. Um, I wanted to join the class, the session at 8am, comma, space, but she didn't message me back, full stop. And she didn't join me, comma, so I don't know how I can join that session. Okay, no need for a full stop. You're not. You're, you're making statements here. You're not asking questions. Okay, um, I don't join you, Leo. You join me, and you join me by sending me a message. So I reply. The session this morning is run by April. Okay, this you must have sent this on a Wednesday. The Wednesday morning eight o'clock session is run by April. You need to be in contact with April. Okay, it's her session. She runs it. She controls it. What she does in it is up to her. <laughs> It's normally reading and chatting and she's really nice. So give it a go. Just send her a message in the forum, I said. There's one with me on Mondays, but last Monday I was on holiday and I will be away again next Monday and maybe next Monday as well. Sorry. Always look at the calendar. If it says on a break, it means I won't be there. However, it's worth getting in touch with others and just meeting up anyway. You can always just pick something on the Internet and read it together. It's not rocket science, OK? I call this um, (laughs) learning by doing or... The JDI methodology, which stands for the Just Do It methodology. And I've got a new one, which is the GOWI methodology, G-O-W-I, which is get on with it. (laughs) Sorry. Chint came along again and said, hello, everyone. I'm Chint from Philippines. Uh, This this is where we say I am Chint with a capital C from the Philippines, because I think the Philippines is so many little islands that we kind of make it the, the Philippines, the one and only. Um, Full stop. I'd put a full stop there. Then I, capital I, would like to improve my English, capital E, grammar in a written and oral form. That's just English then. (laughs) I'd like to improve my English written and oral. Um, That would be enough. Please guide me. Thank you. 
And Jin said, I didn't reply, but we, we chatted last week. So um, hopefully that was enough of a reply for you. Andy said, hey, now my comments are not followed by that hold on line as the verification of the email ID was in the process. Yuppie. <laughs> OK. Hey, capital H, capital N. Now my comments are not followed by that hold on line. Full stop. As the verification of the email ID, email ID was in process. Yeah, you do have to verify your email. OK, so that means you have to go to your email and find that discuss message. Uh, yippee. We don't say yuppie unless we're talking about people who are young, upwardly mobile professionals. So yippee. Y I double P double E. E P I A. Zeb said, well done. And I think I, I clicked it up as well. That's how busy I was last week. But well done you, Andy. Well done. OK, and again, a little bit of patience. It all works in the end. It's all good in the end. Chint came along again and said, hello, I'm Chint. So oh, actually said, hello, I'm Chint. I'm is capital I apostrophe M because it's short for I am. Chint from, again, the Philippines. I'm new here. I'm I apostrophe M. Um, I joined just an hour ago is what I would have said here. I'm new here just an hour ago. No, I joined just an hour ago. Full stop. Can someone help me? Oh, can someone help Mo how to join in the class? So can someone help me to join the class? Hi, Chintz, I said. We don't really have classes, just practice sessions. You can read more about it here. And I gave a link to how to join. In order to learn English is through reading, asked Chintz. So um, in order to learn English... Um, so, OK, you help people learn English through reading. Uh, Andy said, the better way is to communicate as much as you can. So capital T, Andy. And I replied, hi, Chintz, if you're struggling to understand the page I sent you to, you might be better off following the lessons. And I gave a link to the lessons. Um, Zeb said, it seems to me that the link provided by Lynn is for learning about the sessions, what they are and how they work. Chintz said, if you don't mind, sir. <laughs> I love it. Sorry. I don't know how to handle a conversation. So if you don't mind, comma, I, I capital I, don't, which is short for do not. So you need that apostrophe. So D-O-N apostrophe T. I don't know how to handle a conversation. Then one full stop. Would you like to help me or can you be my teacher? OK. Um, when you say sir, said Zeb, do you mean me? And I reply, I say nothing. And uh, Zeb said, I don't think Chintz means me. She's looking for a teacher. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Zeb? And then she replied to Chintz, I haven't yet met any sir or madam here to refer to each other. We just use our name. Exactly. There's no need to sir and madam us, honestly. And Zeb is a female, by the way. So Zeb came along and said, hi, everyone. And he said, hi, Ahmed, how are you doing? And that would be a capital a, a, H with a capital A for Ahmed, the name, a comma, and then capital H, how are you doing, question mark. And Zoeb said fine, which is fine, Zoeb, but capital F and a full stop. Even if it's just one word, you still need to finish it off with a full stop. Uh, Mohammed Awal came along and said, hi, guys. Capital H, Mohammed, and a full stop after guys. Hi, Mohammed, said Zoeb. Will you follow the World Cup? I replied, Hi. Mohammed said, how you doing? Oh, that reminded me of Joey and Friends. How you doing? <laughs> so, how are you is better, or how are you doing? Capital H, and a question mark at the end. Fine, thanks, I said. We were just talking about cupcakes and the World Cup. Don't ask how we managed to then get back to cupcakes. Can you imagine? We talked about cupcakes, then the World Cup, then cupcakes again. It was a miracle. <laughs> And he came along and said, Nooni is here to discuss anything. Who's Nooni? <laughs> so, is no one here to discuss anything? Question mark, Andy. And capital I for the beginning of your sentences. Always a first capital letter. Every sentence. Zeb's right. Oh, Zeb replied first. It just means people are not in sync with you, said Zeb. They're not connected when you are, but it doesn't prevent you from having a conversation with them. That's the lovely thing about the internet. OK, it's disjointed, but it gives you time to think your response. I replied, Zeb's right. Twelve hours ago, I was walking like her. Um, Andy replied to said, at least ooh, are, ah, thanks. So, capital A, Y-O-U, A-R-E, capital T for thanks, full stop. You're looking for instant chat only, Andy? Not only chatting, <laughs> Zeb. Ooh, but want to put myself into the conversation on a specific topic, but I never find it here. People talk about their personal lives only. Do we? <laughs> I don't think so. I've never talked much about my personal. OK, I was walking the dog. I suppose that's personal life. Um, so not only chatting, C-H-A-T-T-I-N-G, capital N for not, Zeb, capital X, comma. But I want to 
um, join conversations on a, on specific topics. Okay, full stop. Um, I've never found that here. I have capital I. Um, people only talk about their personal lives. Full stop. Have you tried the forum, Asep? There are different set topics there. You're also free to start any kind of conversations here. Exactly. If you want a topic, start it. I mean, Zeb does it. She says, oh, what, are you watching the World Cup? And then nobody replies. It's just hi, hi, hi. It's up to you to drive the conversation. You're not at school anymore. So Zeb came along. Um, oh, hang on. So it's quite boring then, said Andy. Um, I think you're replying to when you're talking about people's personal lives. Oh, I find that fascinating. But you'd say it's, which would be capital I, T apostrophe S, quite boring then, full stop. Um, Zeb replied, poor you, nothing worse than getting bored. <laughs> really, said Andy, do you find anyone other than me to talk here this time? So here you'd say, uh, have you found anyone other than me to talk with here now? <laughs> that would be better, I think. Ooh, difficult one. I'm not usually here at this time, said Zeb, uh, but I wanted to put you out of your misery. My time here is early morning before going to work. By what time in the morning, said Andy? So capital B or in fact, I wouldn't say by what time. I'd just say what time in the morning, question mark, capital W. Usually between 6 and 7 a.m. French time. What is the time now there? OK, so what's the time there now? Capital W, but good question mark. Well done. 8.25 p.m. Ooh. Uh, so what is the time there now? In other words, hmm. uh, date is 11th of June. It's 11th June here and 11.55 p.m. So um, and is the date 11th of June, capital J, months are always capitalised, full stop. It's capital I, T apostrophe S, 11th June, capital J here, uh, comma, 11.55 p.m., full stop and you need a space between the um, time and the p.m. and we either write it capital P capital M or P uh, stop full stop M full stop uh, same date for France but you are about 3.5 hours ahead of me which would be three and a half hours <laughs> okay it's difficult to do halves in uh, computer speak isn't it? In, in, when you've got a keyboard so um, three and a half hours ahead of me and he said it means I should come online around 9 30 a.m. or 10 a.m. so capital I it means, comma, I should come online around 9.30 a.m. or 10 a.m. Again, space, A, full stop, M, full stop. Uh, if you want, oh, full stop at the end as well. If you want to, comma, there's no obligation. I usually interact with everybody and it does, doesn't necessarily have to be instant chat for me. So doesn't needs an apostrophe between the N and the T because it's short for does not. Uh, I usually see you online whenever I come here, said Andy. It is nothing to be instant chat or so. I just want to know when the time when most of the people are communicating with one another. So he'd say I, capital I, usually see you online whenever I come here, capital I, full stop. Um, it doesn't have to be instant chat or the like. OK, capital I for it. Full stop. I, capital I, just J-U-S-T, want to know what time most of the people are communicating with one another here. People come and go, said Zeb. No fixed schedule. And I love it that way. I keep an eye on people popping in. And if I can make it, I get in touch. And he said, even I do the same, but think I come at wrong time. So um, I wouldn't say even I. I just say I do the same thing, comma, but I, capital I, think I, capital I, come at the wrong time with the full stop when most of the people are sleeping i am awaken okay when most people are sleeping i capital i am awake full stop lol said zeb you've been around for a few days only isn't it a bit early to jump to this conclusion lol even i think so said andy so um lol and i wouldn't say even i think so you just say yes i think so capital i full stop one full stop May I ask you what you do to keep a conversation going with people, asked Seb. Usually people just say hello to each other and it's the end of it. Um, I'd say, and that's the end of that, to be honest. Uh, Andy said, every conversation starts with the word hello or hi, as we have started. Ah, quite right, Andy. <laughs> and often it just stops afterwards, replied Seb. No, said Andy, it depends. Um, and then just a full stop. OK, good night, as it is midnight and I'm feeling sleepy. Bye. So OK, capital O, capital K or capital O-K-A-Y, comma, good night, 
comma, it's midnight and I, capital I, am feeling sleepy, full stop, by, capital B-Y-E, full stop. Bye, good night, said Seb. Um, now, I replied to Andy um, and his It's Boring to with, what do you usually do when you're feeling bored? Andy said, I just come online to do something productive like communicating with someone or surf the different websites to English updates. OK, so I, capital I, just come online to do something productive like communicating with someone, and then comma, or I surf the different websites to look for English updates. Aha, said I. Me too. I have to admit, though, I'm rarely bored. Ed came along and said, really? How do you prevent yourself from getting bored? Maybe she knows how to entertain herself, said Seb. Andy said, ha ha, you know when that what you know what when I don't find anyone to communicate, then I really feel bored. OK, ha ha, full stop. You know what? Question mark. When, capital W, I, capital I, don't find anyone to communicate with, comma, then I really feel bored, okay, uh, capital I. Strangely, said I, I always find someone to chat with. <laughs> Anyhow, Kershi came along and said, who's boring? So, capital W, Kershi, and question mark after boring. What brought you here, Kershi? Were you bored? <laughs> Noon but the silence, said Andy. So, no one but the silence. So you can use N double O N E for no one, but it's it's not very. Um, it might annoy some English teachers. It doesn't annoy me. I kind of know what you mean, but I'm just pointing out. It looks like noon, um, and it's no one. Okay, so maybe try to separate the two. N O O N E. Uh, Zeb said, "Join the next quiz in Kitely. There will be no silence there. No, there will be much laughter." <laughs> And she replied to Koshi, are you? Uh, and Koshi was boring, because Koshi, you didn't come and say, um, you didn't reply to us. Shubham came along and said, hello, hello, everyone. So H-E-L-L-O, and then one full stop. Hello, Shubham. Hi, Shubham. So that was one of those hi, hi, hello. Andy came along. What do when people start bothering you in every sense, though you warned them many times, but still they do what they want to, and especially it happens in relationships which you can't, can't avoid. OK. Um, what do you do when people start bothering you, comma, in every sense, comma, even though you have warned them many times, comma, but still they do what they want to, full stop. It especially happens in relationships which you can't avoid. C-A-N apostrophe T. I ignored them, said Zeb, or I do as if they were not bothering me. OK, um, I ignore them, comma, or I, re I act as if they were not bothering me. Yeah, you, unless they're holding a gun to your head, you can pretty much do what you want to. Anyhow, there's an exciting bit here. A uh, special quiz announcement for June. A special quiz on science run by our new quiz master, Science. The fun will be happening on Monday 23rd at 8pm Berlin time in Kitely. Feel free to join. I'll be there, that's for sure. And um, then <laughs> Zev wrote, I wonder why I can't help adding an extra Z to the word quiz. Yes. <laughs> you just like quizzes, I replied. It's an explanation, as good as as good explanation as any. I like it. So uh, there you'd say it's an explanation, comma, as good an explanation as any. I like it. Good. I'm glad. Mohit came along and said hello. And Zeb said hello, Mohit. Zeb also said World Cup 2014. What's your bet for today's matches? Mexico versus Cameroon, Spain versus Netherlands. I go for Mexico and Spain. And you? Well, you lost, didn't you, Zeb? <laughs> I don't. I won't argue with you. Said uh, I replied. Spain defeated by the Netherlands five to one. What a knockdown! I know. I mean, we couldn't have got it more wrong, could we? Anyhow, I'm going to have to stop there because, as I say, I've got visitors. So. I will try to get another recording in later in the week. And, ooh, I've run out of time. I'll, I'll use up a few extra minutes from my account then. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed listening to these corrections and these conversations. And uh, just remember, it is about communicating. And those people who come and communicate will improve if they keep communicating. And it doesn't have to be on live chat. It can be anywhere on the internet, but you have to keep it going. It has to be more than high. I think most of you have got high down to a T and it's perfectly OK to move on from that now. <laughs> As I say, JDI, just do it. Or Gowie, get on with it. <laughs> Take care. Bye.